Okay, we're going to call the Board of Health meeting to order. Uh, let me just introduce everybody for those who don't know. We have Ben, who's our health agent. Margaret, Board of Health member. Peter is our administrative assistant. Marcy is our nurse. I'm Susan Mosler. I'm chair of the Board of Health. And Emma, the other member, is not able to attend tonight. Um, so, uh, welcome and call the water. Uh, do we have a, if, if Margaret, have you had a chance to review the previous minutes? Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, I made the correction that you pointed out. I had inadvertently left your name off, so that's been added back on and updated to the website. Uh, so, I make a motion that we accept the previous minutes. Okay. Passed. Great. Uh, we are going to have a report from Ben, our health agent, as first as he has the furthest to drive home. Uh, all right, thank you. Uh, so, um, uh, updates. I, we did we did have the meeting with the uh, business leadership council, I believe. There. Oh, called. nice. Uh, it went well. Uh, they were asking about uh, primarily about how the inspections go, how applications go. You know the reviews process, all that good stuff. Really. How many people so, attended? Uh, there was, I think, a total of six businesses. Uh, they expected some more, but you know, yeah. some people didn't show up. Uh, they're they're going to do it. They intend to do it again. It's a um, Yeah, next year, early next year. So yeah. so like four to one of next year, we'll do it again. Might be a different topic then, but yeah. we'll basically be a, a, a semi routine meet up with That's great. with them. All right, so Love it. so we'll be doing that. Uh, the other thing that uh, I started doing is I'm doing uh, handouts when I go out to the inspections uh, for a couple things. Sources always either Mass Department of Public Health or uh, Mass.gov. Um, but basically these handouts are uh, when employee, a handout for example that the employees sign when they are hired on that, when they have certain symptoms, which, uh, what, whichever symptoms are listed, they have to tell the manager. Mm -hmm. And then there's another handout I give them, which is when you hear these symptoms, here is how you respond to mm -hmm. it. So either restrict, exclude, tell the Board of Health if there's one any of these certain problems. Uh, it's all listed on the paperwork. So it makes it easy for the businesses to know uh, you know, well, can they come to work? Can they not come to work? Well, here's your right. handy dandy guide. Yeah. Um, and so, so I'm passing that out to all the, the businesses uh, that I go out to. The last thing I'm, I'm starting to, to um, uh, enforce is uh, they should have a, a vomit and diarrheal kit, which is like a little set aside thing. So if there's a problem, either of those problems by either the employees or uh, customers, they can get it and clean it up. And uh, you know they have PPE when they do it, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's actually disinfected. It's not just you know soap soap it down that type of a thing, which could happen, probably does happen fairly often. So it's like a, a way of of, and it is a requirement in the inspection report that we check for these things. So. Uh, so I so I have another handout that's just for that. So if they go, what, what what's in this kit? I don't know. Again, I just hand them the paper and say, here here it is. They can do the kits, but they're also you can buy them pre-made too. So it's either or. Um, they get to choose. But that's the kit. That, there's a guide for that. So that's kind of some new stuff that I'm that I'm doing while I'm going out and doing inspections. All right. Very interesting. Um, that that would be the the primary update. Every, other than that, things are going fairly smoothly. Lots of inspections getting done. Thank goodness we don't have anything that's uh, you know uh, one of those situations where it takes up a lot of your time, but it's only one thing. Yeah. I don't have any of those happening right now, so I'm actually getting a lot of stuff done. It's amazing what you can get done when you're not bogged down with with uh, some stuff. Um, so until one of those other things happens, we're just going to knock out so many as many inspections as I can, and we'll get all caught up. So that's the that's the goal. Right. We had talked, uh, I don't know, the last time or a couple of times before for you to, when you have time, to write up some protocols. Yeah, the SOP I brought, uh, so I distributed it last time, and I'm actually going to distribute it to you guys again because uh, I want to, this one and only time, unless you guys want me to do something different, but uh, uh, this time... I wanted to just have the Board of Health. It's the same one I gave you last time, but I didn't expect you guys to bring it this time. It's just the SOP. In this case, it's the procedure to review annual food licenses, right? And this is just, I'm applying, I'm a business owner, I'm applying for a new license. Uh, what do I need to do to get that license, right? 
Uh, and so what I wanted to do, I, I hinted out last time, but I'd like to, the, for uh, the board uh, that's currently here, let me know if you believe that it's that it's something that you would be, uh, that, that looks good to you, if you would uh, approve it, say that, give me your blessing. You don't have to vote on it because it's not a regulation, but just tell me if you think it's a good idea, then give me that feedback, and then I'll, what I'll do here, as you can see, there's a I, approved by all that. I had looked at it last time. Yeah. Yes, you did. It looks good. It looks good. Okay. I don't have anything to add anything. to it. Margaret, no, I, I had also looked at it and last this is, time. This is great. Okay. But yeah. I just think it's fabulous that we're Thank getting these back. things yeah, prepared no for mm -hmm. the public, for all of us to know. So people are guessing and wondering if this is yeah. great. Thank so if these look good to you guys, then, then I'll, I'll say that you guys reviewed it and approved it. But what I'll do in the future is I won't bring every one of these to you guys, but I'll I'll create one new ones that are just like this. It'll have the same format, the same everything. Yeah. And uh, I'll, I'll, you know, anything that I do often, regularly, I'll have an SOP for it. This is just how that's, I do things. That's great. And we can put it up on the website. And we can. We can put it up on the that's website. We definitely do so. Okay. You know, maybe we can have a link new, you know, or it's, we'll figure something out so people yeah. will know what, what to look for. Sounds good. That's All right. great. Thank uh, you. No problem. Uh, I think the last thing I was going to say was uh, we have some trainings coming up. Uh, it's speaking to Peter about uh, about those. It's going to be a decent amount in the fall. Uh, you know, there's uh, and there's also a conference coming up, the big uh, MHOA conference. Um so I, I'd like to go to that just because it's it's the it's the big one where all the health inspectors yeah, get together great. and 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 you get a training and uh, it's actually a few day few days of trainings, um, and they talk about new things coming up and you just get informed. Uh, so uh, anyways, I'll be doing that uh, in the fall. Great. Figured I'd let you guys know there's a bunch of a bunch of those. It's the big one, but there's a few a couple smaller ones I want to do too. Uh, the last thing, it, do you have any questions for me before we move to the next thing? I, I just interrupting, but it's only because I forget yes. quickly. Are you connected now to the consortium, consortium. with Meredith O'Leary? Uh, oh yes. So they the last I would have gone to the last one, but they canceled the last that, one. That's so fine. I need to go to the, you're in the, loop yeah, yeah, the yeah. emails. They know that I'm I'm Good. exist okay. now. And, and, and I'm and invited the, to the meetings. Yeah. Great. Okay. okay. Cool. Good. Uh, the, the other thing I was going to bring up, which is just the only reason I am, is because it's the next one on the list here, is the uh, is the body art regulations. Uh, so I have a copy of it. Our legal team, uh, I sent a digital copy to you guys, but obviously you can't, you can't uh, sign off on it that way. So uh, uh, when you guys decide to do what you do, vote on it or not, uh, I have a copy here, and then I have your uh, signatures here as well that you can take and you, sign as you will. You I reviewed it. Um, yeah. I. If you it, want to it, make a motion, and we yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy to make a motion that we um, sign off on the uh, body art regulations as prepared by and reviewed by the town council as well. Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. There you go. For your signature. You yeah, pen. So I'll forward this over to our legal team, and then they can they can update the website. That's right. great. So that's that for that one, I think. And then it just goes to our answer list. And I think we had a variance request as well. Yep. Gladys is so I am planning to uh, replace an existing sunroom with one that's a little bit bigger. So there was some concern, let me just pass this out. There was some concern about where the footing is in relationship to the, um, uh, to the septic tank. So Kevin was out at my house, Kevin Quinlan, and he took a look at things. Um, and the second page has a diagram that shows what I'm planning to do and where the septic tank is. <clears throat> and then there's two pages afterwards uh, that I printed off from the Massachusetts regulations that talk about um, what you need to be concerned about uh, in placing a septic tank by room addition. So what I, you know, I've talked to um, Tom Quinlan and he's told me what he needs for support and foundation. So I will have these great big humongous cement things to support the Whatever addition. So yeah. that if my septic tank needs to be replaced, um, it won't compromise the addition. And when the addition is being built, it won't compromise the septic tank. So we need to vote on a variance. 
Yeah, so ben. I'll just jump in. I'll yeah, just ahead. jump here uh, in at this point. Um, Kevin called me about it. He went on site to take a look at it. So it's so we have uh, somebody that's uh, you know uh, representing the the board that right. went out there. Um, and what he told me was visually looking at it, he didn't think that um, the the new addition is going to compromise the tank. And he did think that it could be serviced as needed. Um, so uh, even though there's uh, the reason for the variance is uh, you know there is a, a conflict from us as far as setbacks on here, but variance is allowed to if somebody goes out and confirms it's not going to be a problem. And in this case, though he confirmed it doesn't meet the setback, it does meet the requirements on why those setbacks exist, which is can the tank be accessed? Is it going to compromise right. anything? And he said it will not. So based on his feedback, he told me uh, he believes that it wouldn't be a problem, and he would think that there is, he can't think of any reason why the variance wouldn't be granted. Okay, so should we just vote? Uh, so, oh, go ahead. So, yeah, so I have a question. So, um, you know that uh, you, you spoke with Tom Quillen, it was it Tom or Kevin? Uh, okay, so, let me just see what this says. Sure. So, <clears throat> Kevin Quinlan came to my house. My neighbor, Tom Beckwith, lives up the street, works for a company that replaces the septic tank. They both came to my house at different times. Okay, so, so this is really... Kevin Quinlan, rather than Tom Quinlan. No, Tom, Tom Quinlan is the building inspector. Right. Right. So he was the one that, that pointed out that I need to have certain footings. Okay. I'm sure Kevin knows about that. Okay. As well. So you dealt with both of them. She's, yeah. been, she's been working with a few people I've been town. Trying to get through all these guys. <laughs> she's been trying to get all her ducks in a row. Like he's been doing with the family. And... Yeah, I mean, the guys are great. So okay. I did talk with everyone. But thank you for keeping me honest to make sure I didn't. Do we, do we have a motion to? Uh... Yeah, so I make a motion that we accept, uh, that we grant the variance. Um, 416 Arrowhead Drive. Thank Second. you. Awesome. Second All, in. Favor. All in favor. Oh. oh, my goodness. You guys are super. <laughs> Sorry you had to come over here, but we're happy to meet you. I am and, I am uh, delighted to be here. I hope, appreciate I your consideration. I hope you enjoy the porch. Oh, we'll we'll yeah. have a big celebration. I hope this yeah. hasn't been too much of a. Excuse me? I hope that it hasn't been too much of a hassle for you. I mean, it is. Well, you know, it, it's funny because I think I've been talking to Dee Dee for like, I've been thinking about this project for three years. And I yeah. talked to Dee Dee first about a year and a half ago. And she said, you have to be mindful of the septic. And I knew, okay, I cleared the septic. Yeah. We didn't get into the nitty gritty about this 10 feet, yeah. you know, until fairly recently, which is, you know, considering I've got my builder lined up and I've got my Go products it. ordered. Good. It yeah, it's us a, it's it's to the party. Yeah, I'm going home and breaking yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for joining it the right way. We appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for coming over. Okay. Hopefully with crochet. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ben, are you doing any of that? Uh, the stuff and stuff. I would like to actually go with uh, Kevin on this when it actually gets installed. It would be a good. It would be a good yeah. thing. Sometimes he doesn't tell me. He'll just kind of do something, and then I'll be like, oh, I kind of want to." Yeah, we'd love to get you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because um, you know we're paying. We're paying him to. Yeah, to do it. No, I know. Yeah. No, yeah. Um, okay. The, actually, the, that brings up one last thing that I had, and then I'll, I'll hit the road because mm -hmm. we have. I was going to actually stay because of that owl thing, but now we have somebody that can handle that. Um, the only other thing I was going to ask was I had distributed, um, uh, the, um, uh, the private wells, uh, regulation. Yeah, before. I saw it. Yep. I mean, uh, and my question to you guys was simply that, cause I kind of want to ping it off of, um, uh, you know, it's, for example, there's agricultural wells on there. There is a, there is a statement within yeah, Board of Health that you have to going to need buy-in from yeah them. so i'd like to say hey the board of health at this time doesn't see any problems with it yeah but i and i didn't want to be able to say that before i start bringing it to places so you you what's your say, thoughts on that you can say that okay yeah no i i, I didn't really know anything about yeah. these well sure, sure, sure. i started reading yeah but you're prepared. so yeah um no issues at this no time. issues no okay. issues no, none that i could see or understand. Okay. Yeah, you're not voting on it today. All you're doing is saying, I don't yeah, see it. Oh, absolutely. Okay. That, would, if th that would be in a, a really big step forward if we can get that that done. I think it's it's going to take a lot of... lot of. It will, but I'm going to work on it. It'll be a while, but severe. We'll, yeah. we'll get through it, and, yeah. and, and, and hopefully Great. it'll be good for the yeah. or town of Hadley. All right. Um, all right, that's all I have Thank for you guys. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Ben. Right. We appreciate you. everything. See ya. We appreciate everything you're doing. Thank yeah. you, Susan. I appreciate Thank it. Is right, your, guys, see ben, is your conference out of town?
Yeah, it is. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be driving around. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, see you guys. Okay. Then, then there's a, there's a, I don't know if that's your case over there. That's for this heater. Gotcha. Okay. You Marcy? guys feel using yeah. the owl and everything? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. All right. Marcy's going to go next, the town nurse. Um, I'm not really sure you know, what to expect with an update, but I'll just tell you that I've been just enjoying, um, you know, having people come in. It's a slow, it's a slow trickle, um, spending time researching things so I can put stuff out on the table. Right. Um, in September, we're going to, uh, Violet and I are going to do a, like a breakfast where we're going to discuss, uh, normal, uh, memory changes versus disease. And, um, that was um, driven from one of the people who is a participant at the center. That's, center. that's great. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's that. great. And in October, um, we're setting up the food clinic through that grant through DPH, which is really really helpful. Yeah. So we'll have um, we'll have a food clinic here. They'll provide the shots. They'll provide the people right. giving the shot. Yeah. Who was doing this? Um, I, th you know, I don't remember her name off. I think her name is Maggie Lorna Devine. Devine. Oh, Lauren. Yes. Good. Yeah. That's who I want yeah. you to work with. That's, 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 that's the health consortium. Yeah. That yeah. Part. Yeah. They'll, they'll do it. They'll do everything. That's great. So when, it, yeah. Great. I'm glad you're, so you're connected with her. Yeah. October. Perfect. Okay. Good. And then, and the name of that in October, I didn't catch it. So. It's going to be a, a flu clinic here. Um, Thank you. That's yeah. excellently. Yeah, it's here again to. already, isn't it? You know, everything is here again already. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's how I feel. Yeah. Hence the mask. Are they going to be able? We're going to be able to offer if there's an updated COVID vaccine as well. Um, it it really is complicated. Um, I, like it, I I don't want to take up the time for a meeting to discuss it with you. Um, it would depend on what the consortium, consortium. resources yeah, are. So ask yeah. them. And if yeah. they, I think because yeah. they were doing COVID yeah. vaccine. Yeah. So be sure and ask them if they can do both. That would yeah. be great. Yeah. I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Marcy, thank you so yeah. much. We Thanks. appreciate everything. I like to see. I love driving by and seeing the sign. Oh, isn't that funny? It's great. It's so funny. Did you want to discuss the technology? Yes. Um, I've been requesting um, just a small uh, laptop to use. I'm borrowing a laptop here. I'm also doing work for my phone. So there's a couple of issues with that. Um, this laptop here is shared and may not be available, and it's not secured. Um, in other words, when you go in, you'll see my files. Um, the other thing is my phone is also, you know, not a secured system. So I, I was hoping to have a laptop because I wanted to do research on it. I wanted to be able to print information off of it. But then I thought, you know, at some point in time, you know, logging information, like how many visits per month, right? you know, how, what type of things are people coming in for yeah. might be useful to you in the future. So um, those kinds of things I'm using just in a, you know, like scrap paper notebook. Yeah. I think it would all be very useful. I yeah. think, as we had said, we don't have any I understand. money. And I think we should definitely put that in our budget for next year. So let's backtrack a little bit. Say, We'd get you, you an, I, you know, an iPad or something. You actually requested from somebody a, a laptop or any kind of technology? I communicated to Susan and Margaret about it oh. through email. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but n no a, one. I mean, but are you rethinking like in town hall itself? Yeah, or? yeah. So, <laughs> so what are you looking for? Are you looking for a, a laptop? Are you looking for a tablet? Do you have a preference? Well, I um, can you arrange a tablet? A tablet can get hooked to a printer, correct, or not? Because well, on my tablet's not. Well, you'd be able to. You would be able to do a wireless. Yeah. Yes, yes. So you're talking about a printer in, in this building? Yes, I would be printing here. Yeah. If it had the capacity to do um, printing and yeah, you um, do that and also, you know, like having some uh, ability to do 
some document documents on it and also a search engine. That's all I need. All right, so, so what I'll do is Jack was back in on Monday and Karen's back in on Monday. I'll ask both of them, you know, can we scrape up five hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it's funny because I just bought my wife a laptop. Yeah. Excuse me. A, a, a tablet yeah. a month ago. Yeah. And um yeah, I got a really good deal on it. And everything that you just mentioned, we loaded them with that, including the antivirus. I, I got an iPad. It was less. It was three hundred dollars. I mean, they're they're not that expensive. Yeah, through work, we use uh, we do the same thing. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> we so I have an iPad for work, and it tracks. I mean, you can so we just upload programs on it, and so I, for what you need. Yeah, I think yeah. like in Excel. Or well, that's be great. A, if you can find Excel, them. Then, So we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the, yeah. the, the starting point, the starting point uh, is the hardware. And then, you know, yeah. if we can, if I can establish with somebody in the town hall that we can actually spend the money that's not in our budget to Susan's point. Yeah. That we can spend the money on a tablet, then you and I should connect in terms of, okay, what do you want in terms of applications? Mm -hmm. Because yeah, you know, we can buy a bunch of different things, and we end up buying the wrong things. Mm -hmm. So if you can tell us, you know, you want Excel versus something else, mm -hmm. you know, if you want the Microsoft, you know, three hundred and sixty-five suite, mm -hmm. you know, that, that might make well, sense for you. But it really depends on what Peter. Need. Maybe if you find the funding, you can spend some time with Marcy and go through. Right. That's what that, you, yeah. That, 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 you know, show her what. Yeah, what she could do right. with each thing. Thank you very much. So, that, that's so, really. Well, that's the question first. Right. Can we buy the hardware? The, the software, you know. Thank you. you know, that's kind of like the second step. If you right. can't get the hardware, the software is kind of. Yes. It, right. It's not in the discussion, but yeah, I, I, it, clearly you should have something. I don't know what uh, the people that had her position before used. They never had one. They never had one. You know, we not did. The, uh, we did the, have a laptop. But that laptop I got gave when to March stopped working. I got her a laptop, but somebody I don't know if Emma has somebody. Yeah, remember the laptop Emma had given a, a bequeath to me when I got on board. And then I didn't have the cord, and I brought it back recently, I don't know, early this year. And I don't know if it's. Floating around somewhere, then I'm not sure. Remember that, Susan? Well, look we'll at look in the office. There was a laptop that was it's brought back, but I think the Ben might have been using it. What's that? In the board of health office. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I don't think we said anything. We should check with Emma. We'll check with Emma. Uh, so, how are you getting your email now? You're sharing a, a, a PC in this building. Is that what you said? I get my email through my personal phone. Oh, you you're still getting it off your phone? Yeah. Do you have a computer at home? Um, I don't want to. Um, it's being used um, by other people in different ways that it's not accessible. Yeah. No. You, you, yeah. I don't want to break yeah, it. You don't in. want to do that. Yeah. All right. Peter's on. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm done. yeah. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Marcy. Have a good day, everybody. Anything else? else? Okay. No. Okay. Then thank you. Bye. Thanks. Okay. Oh, West Nile virus detection so update. Right. Ben has left. There was one sample in the, I believe, southeast corner uh, of Hadley. A couple of weeks ago, one mosquito that tested positive right. in West Nile. There's been one in South Hadley, right, and some other ones around. Um, I think we're at a moderate. Well, I went online last night because I got a uh, a voicemail update uh, through the state, right, and I thought it said we were at moderate risk, so I went online to update our website. And when I checked the risks as of the risk classification as of 8H, we were still low. So I thought, well, I'm not sure. I, and I know, I think when I read this 
I to release that another two thing. week break. Right. I found that confusing as well. I thought you were going to have a second positive before they elevate. Right. It's got to be separated by two weeks. Right. So, all right. So we'll, you know. We'll so I figured, and then. Um, and I know that Ben has been made alert, uh, yeah. aware of it in yeah. the past, but there was no communication. So as of last night, I didn't see anything yeah. on and the state's website. Okay, and they are communicating directly with Ben. Right. So we're we're good. Right. Okay. And there's already something up on the website. Right. And then I, I know the town has a reflexive action. Yeah. that If it does upgrade, it'll go on the reverse 9-11. Right. Okay, good. Uh, capital requests. Well, I think that was, we just kind of dis discussed that, um, so, the possibility. Yeah. Hey, Peter, do we have other? No. So, so the question is, and this is posed by um, the town treasurer, Linda Sanderson, what, what do the boards and committees and departments envision in terms of capital needs over the next 10 years? Okay, and the reason for that is the town is... Uh, working with an outside company in terms of, okay, what do we need for financing over X number of years? Uh, we're going down the path of bonds for like equipment for DPW, so on and so forth. So the ask from the treasurer is, what do we envision? Again, the collective will be in terms of uh, capital equipment or capital expenditures over the next 10 years. Um, I know Ben and I had a conversation about it, um, other than you know, possibly needing one or two or three more laptops in the future, or new laptops, I should say. Um, we didn't come up with anything. Okay. Um, I, and so I talked to the treasurer about laptops, and the game plan is for one purchase order for X number of laptops for uh town government boards commissions committees whatever okay and it won't it's not going to be uh put in by each department okay. or board or anything that it's good yeah, essentially jennifer's gonna right. cut a po for you know 25 right. laptops okay and, and again it's to not only fill the need for you know perhaps something like marcy but at some at some point as you guys know Laptops age out. Yeah, yeah. You know, they last three, four, or five years. It's like okay, time to like yeah, you know, ref refresh. So, unless you guys need you know boats and cars and stuff, um, I, I I can't think of anything. I would like like a front, you know, a digger. <laughs> um, I, I would talk to PW. I would talk to them. Oh, because <laughs> they're going to be getting rid of some equipment. So you might want to talk to them. <laughs> I'm kidding. Because they, they're, getting, they're getting new stuff. I'm yeah, you. I know. The, the town voted on it. It's in. All right. Uh, thank you, Peter. Yeah. Uh, water testing. Emma is not here. Uh, Board of Health initiatives for 2023. Um, again, I think we need to defer. Um, I think we need our full time. Well, I, yeah, and I think, you know, a lot of... It, it, you know, my hopes and dreams are coming true. In other words, you know, Ben is working on putting up protocols and instructions for new businesses and permitting, and that's really great. And I think that's really uh, going to improve the town's face, facing or interface with the business community. Uh, and the general public so that everybody knows if I want a food permit, what do I need to do? If I want to open a business, what do I need to do? And we have transparency and everybody knows what the rules and regulations are. So I think that's, that's really has, was one of, was my big goal for this coming year. And Ben is already getting started on that. So I think I, that's terrific. I, I think, I think you guys probably put this on the list because, um, if I recall, I think, and I could be totally wrong about this, but I think Ben was also looking for, okay, what do you guys see as far as the the, the roadmap in terms of, okay, so after I get done with all these, catching up on all these food inspections, what is he, what else do you really want me to do? Okay. Uh, and again, I mean, he, he's, obviously he has some ideas, he has some experience in doing the job, you know, having worked in Somerville at, at the job. But I, but again, 
I, I think he's looking for guidance in terms of because again, you guys are you guys manage the show. You, you guys make the decisions. Yeah. You know, and so Ben and I pretty much. Yeah. Well, you know, you guys in the dog. We, we yeah. Have yeah. The tail. We're, we're the tail. Right. So, so, I, so I think it's. I think it was Ben that was really asking for. Okay. Long term, what do you really want me to do? Um, I I have a couple things. My or one or two things myself that I, that I want to bring up. Not that they're showstoppers, but I think that was the point for the discussion. It's like, okay, what do you really want, Ben? And you know, eventually it becomes you know part of what I'm doing also because then Ben and Ed and I work together, and he's doing the heavy load, heavy lifting, obviously. And I'm kind of like doing like you know, you're doing plenty of work, background, background yeah. stuff, or you know, pushing the paper, so to speak. So I, I think. You know, once once the three of you are back in in the same room at the same time, you know, the two of you and, and Emma, um, it, yeah, I, I would recommend having you know, you know, just a half hour, some kind of strategy session in terms. Of, okay, what do we really want Ben to be doing as as yeah. now a health director? I'd also like his input actually on that. I think it's worthwhile having a uh, a meeting. Uh, all I, of us. I, 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 I would agree. I, I think it, I think it's and I mean, Ben's both of I mean, where that's, is what that's what I yeah that's what I meant. I think it's top down and bottom up. <laughs> oh, yeah. absolutely. No, I would want if yeah. I wasn't clear. I apologize, but that's what I mean. I would want Ben in on this oh. because he has he has been part of well, he would be a much larger um, uh, group before and would also. I mean, a part of it is also limited by our budget. He'll have a better handle on how his workload is really shaking out. Like he said, he's not really having trouble right now with the um, inspections. Everything has been pretty straight line. Right. Um, but there'll be issues. And he's issues. also integrating himself into the community, which right. is really the important yeah. thing. You know, he's showing people are seeing him. And this meeting was terrific that they had, yeah. so... Um, all right. Well, we'll yeah. So I, I think it's worth a discussion to have with Ben outside yeah. of you know, like this this particular occasion once a month meeting. So yeah, I I, I think uh, I think it's a good idea. You know, with regards to your comment on budget, I agree with one hundred percent. However, keep in mind that the new budget starting in July of twenty twenty four, the budgeting cycle starts. Five months from now, so oh, yeah, it, we start getting emails in October. Yeah, so you can start getting emails like in you know, yeah. like November, December kind of thing. Our first yeah. submission is like in January. Yeah. So, you know, so uh, th that's why I think this item needs to stay on the agenda. Mm -hmm. and, and you guys, now I three, I three think if we're going to discuss it, we have to discuss it in a board of health meeting. I don't think we can have a meeting like that. Can we have a meeting yeah, like that? Then you mean just to sort of say all of us no. ideas no. No. Uh, one of us could, but not not more than. Yeah, if, if there's two of you, and uh, that's a meeting. So let's let's put it on the agenda for next month. All right. And Peter, can you just give Ben a heads up? Yeah. You know, yeah. we just want to hear his thoughts, and yeah, you know, and he may say it's too early to know, and that's okay too. Tell him we understand that. Yeah. I mean, he's really just getting getting into the groove, right? Right. right. So. One of the initiatives that that um, I think we need to engage in, and it's more me than, than the two of you, but um, as you know, we're now using, for the most part, we're trying to use permit link right. for our food um, food permits. What permit, permit link does not do, it does not allow food trucks to apply for a permit. And the reason for that is the way the software is written it's written based upon the location of the establishment. So it's like a, a plot on, on the land, the land within Hadley. So if you look at the behind the scenes of the way the software was developed, um, it asks, okay, so where is this lo actually located? And it's not so much the street address. It's like, is it plot one, two, three, eight? You know, if you look at it like a, like a Google map kind of thing. Um, so it doesn't allow for the food truck vendor oh. to apply. So what's the answer? So, um, the answer is to work with permit, the permitting folks to have them develop the software. 
and for us to allow the food train vendors to apply online yep. versus sending the stuff into me yep. uh, then and me right oh, Absolutely. So my point being is that, I mean, it's, it kind of seems obvious, but it may cost us money. So um, Ben and I talked about this the other day. I'm going to go ahead and pursue it with Permanlink. I will come back to you guys if there's money that needs to be spent. If it's a big pile of money, then it's going to have to wait until well, we'll put it into the budget the, for the, next the year. Budget. Yeah. Um, yeah. The food truck season, quite frankly, is almost over. Okay. So the, the new food truck season will start in May. Right. Okay. Um, so we've got time to get the work done. The question is, okay, so how do we fund it if they're going to charge us X thousands of dollars to do the work? I don't think it should, but again, I, I can't speak for the right, We'll gather the information yeah. and you'll let it know. But, but, but I think um, that's something that uh, at some point, um, you know, if, if it comes to a uh, partner like say, okay, yeah, Peter, we can do that. Well, we will do that. We'll work with you to get it done. Here's what the price is going to be. I'm going to have to come back to you guys. Good. You guys can have to do it, approve mm -hmm. the expenditure or mm -hmm. get it into the budget. Good. Uh, so, because it, again, it makes no sense. I mean, let's let's say nine months from now. No, no, it should all be online. Yeah, There's yeah, no. It, it should be. It, it's no, like you know, no sending question. paperwork into bed and me. And it's kind of no question. Kind of silly at this point. That's but that's that's my only comment with regards to initiatives. Okay. So, any other business? I have one thing that I wanted to discuss, which was that the town. Stop the COVID wastewater testing uh, a couple of months ago, I think. Um, it wasn't discussed with the Board of Health. We were just notified that they were stopping it. And I feel that we should uh, reach out to uh, the select board and the town manager and um, ex ask them to uh, tell them that we strongly recommend that they uh, restart the wastewater testing. So I will, uh, um, do you, do you know why that, no, the DPW has decided they didn't want to do it anymore. Yeah. I saw, I saw an email today about that, Okay, about their, um, that 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 they're down they're down an employee. I'm gonna lose my battery in a minute. Um, yeah, that they were down one person, and they felt that essentially it was too onerous to do to track it. Who sent that email? Carolyn. Okay. I saw I saw an email from Carolyn. She just said that we would have to discuss it with Scott. Um, I don't. Okay. Want to discuss it with Scott? I don't think it's a DPW issue. Right. It's a board of health issue and it's a town issue. Uh, so um, I spoke with our select board liaison this evening, who suggested um, that we send an email to the select board and to the town manager. And um, okay. yeah, well, there certainly are benefits to. Tracking it, it's not going to cost us anything to do that. So there's no additional fee. The, the, I, I heard the exact opposite. That, that's why I asked the question, because I heard the exact opposite. I heard that it, was, it would cost, it cost the town money to do that. No. It, it added all. Here's, here's, I mean, here's, 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 here's what happens. The town, there's a company, Biobot, that does the testing. The state pays for everything. The test kit is delivered to DPW. Twice a week, DPW takes the test kit, dips it in the water, and then the sample is picked up and sent for testing. That's 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 the extent of the DPW's involvement. Um, they don't have to order anything. They don't have to arrange for pickup or for delivery, and it does not cost us anything. FedEx, well, you know, so, does that. But um, so, so who pays for that? The state. State. You said? It's fully state funded. <clears throat> okay. So I, uh, yeah, I'm, I I'm mean, gonna, I, I, I'm I gonna, it. I'm gonna draft a, a email and send it to, uh, you to know, that, that's sort of like the canary in the coal mine. So it, 
it becomes a really good way of tracking outbreaks, putting out alerts for people, giving people a, a, a heightened awareness. It's yeah, and it's um, it's valuable information mm -hmm. um, for those who want to access it, for the people who live here, for the people who come here, uh, for the state, and for the United States. I mean, this is how this is our main method now. Yeah, of of, of, of monitoring the prevalence right. of I've the virus been... in the population. Um, so uh, I'm gonna do so that. Let's make a motion. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do. do I don't think we have to vote on. Okay, it. I, I will. Uh, I'll send an email to the select board, and I, in closing, there was a great article in the New York Times yesterday on wastewater testing and the value that it is to, for everyone. So I'll include a link to that in the email, and then you know we'll see what we'll see where it goes. But yeah. I don't agree with Carol that I should have a meeting with uh, the DPW. I I just I, it's not. I don't. Do you, do you feel otherwise? No, it's not I mean, a DPW. It, it doesn't cost us anything. So, um, like, why wouldn't we track the epidemiological data? Uh, and and because of the way it helps us alert our people. So they, they so can't be. They should buy by. That's my understanding of it. Track yeah. As well. Oh, so so BioBot takes care. of the sampling. So, so, so if the all we have to do is give them the um, sample. So, it, so if the trending, let's say the trending is, is going up, yeah, they alert. Well, no, oh, we, oh, yeah, they would let us no, know. No, no, the no. We, we get a report twice a week. Every right. sample, we get a report, and we've been posting it on our website up until oh, okay. they up until they stop doing it. Yeah. Um, so good. Um, geez, you know, there was another thing and I should have written it down with this. It's not about this topic, but it was about capital expense expenses. Mm. If, it does, if it comes to me, I'll mention it. If not, I'll throw it on next month's agenda. Um, okay. All right. Any other business that could not be reasonably anticipated? You can't think of anything. And so our next meeting is going to be again the second Thursday of September. Right. Okay. What's what's the date of that? I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. um, I can look. I have a calendar. Or fourteen, maybe. At least the 14th. September. Right. Mm -hmm. Talk yeah. Oh, wait, that's Erev Rosh Hashanah. Oh. Can't, no can do. Yeah, no, I couldn't either. Um, 21st or the 7th? I can't do the seventh. All right, so the twenty-first. Let's, uh, Margaret. Could you send an email to Emma? Absolutely. And, and include Haley in that, and let her know that we're changing the meeting. I'll let Ben know. You should probably let Marcy. I think that's let Marcy know as well. Let me, let me just let me double check. Begins September 15th at sundown. So wait, let me run. No, we can do the 14th. All right. So we're back to the 14th. All right. Okay. Hold on, let me just look at that. Um, Susan, can I just ask you to summarize again the wastewater testing you will reach out to Carolyn? Uh, now I'm going to write an email. Okay. And send it to the select board. Okay. Thank you. And Carol. <coughs> All right. So the 14th is our board.
Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> All right. Um, any other issues? No. And I make a meeting and we, uh, motion that we adjourn. Second. Yeah. All those in favor? Okay. Meeting adjourned at 749.